My name is Rüdiger, or Rudy Hagedorn, and I'm a specialist in operation research. For the longest time, I've been training my knowledge and experience in areas from a consultancy to international business and data analysis. And now I'm proud to say that for the last three years, I've been the director of the end-to-end -end value chain and standards at the Consumer Goods Forum. Our field of work is shaped to pursue a two-part vision. Number one, information transparency to support industry efficiency and consumer trust and number two, physical supply chain collaborations. In short, we are providing tangible solutions to today's biggest challenges, as well as we are helping our members by improving efficiency, removing waste and reducing costs. Thank you, Rudy, for being with us here today. Thank you for having me. In our conversation before, you have mentioned Consumer Goods Forum, the organization you are part from. Can you explain what good it brings to your members to be a part of your global membership? So yes, we are an, a CEO-led organization that uh, tackles industry opportunities and also risk collaboratively and in a pre-competitive way. And we do this at a global scale. So we are a global organization and our reach is enormous. So uh, what we do is usually we go into spaces where a single organization cannot go alone in order to drive positive change. And our focus is on positive change. Make this world a better place. And how exactly do you approach this? Is there a new way of thinking for it to succeed? So yes, so I usually, usually what I do is I use a, a metaphor to explain the way I approach things. And um, I would like to use these glasses. So in, in all my presentations I use this. Uh, you see, this is a, a glass. Um, so what's your take on the glass? It's half empty. Okay. And uh, other people might say this is half full. And out of this, the problem statement is, okay, what's the level of water, right? And you can debate for hours. And industry could also debate for hours on certain issues. So the trick I usually tell them is, if I would take another glass and just switch the water, now what do we have? It's completely full. It's a full glass of water, so there's actually no problem. So the problem never was the water level. The problem we had was, do we have the right cup to hold it? And that thinking, if you apply it to technologies, that's where the secret juice is. And this is how we tackle things at the Consumer Goods Forum. Can you give me another example of technologies you've mentioned? Yes, so I can give you three examples, actually. We developed them over a time span of the past maybe four years or so. They are called simple links, label-less, and also the newest one is data ports. Let me start with simple links uh, that we developed together with Intel and uh, a good friend of mine, Chris Hunt, who works for Intel. Uh, in a couple of days, we came up with a new vision on displaying the supply chain. Usually it is a sequential state where you scan arrival and departure of items. And if something happens, you can trace it back. And we wanted to give it a 3D space and look into the future. So companies told me the money is looking into the future, actually. And uh, how can we do that? So this is how we developed Simple Links, which is something that recreates the 3D space, is very simple to deploy, and even works with a normal mobile phone. Labelless is something different. If we have two similar glasses, like these one here, uh, we developed that together with uh, Dr. Gerd Wolfram from IoT Consult. This would be my glass and this would be your glass. There's no visible distinction on each. Now, if I put this over here and this over here, which is your glass? That one. Right, so um, you know it, uh, the camera knows it, but there's no distinctive label. Um, so this idea is a concept, not a technology, but we also classify this as innovative thinking. The rest is Dataport. Dataport is a new protocol of peer-to-peer -peer data exchange between companies. Do you have any principles to follow when choosing the right options for your members? Yes, so I apply four principles. Principle number one is always move the industry into a space where there are more options for the industry. So maybe the same, but more options and maybe better options. 
So if you get into a situation where people try to suck out the oxygen out of the room and leave you with one choice and then that's the way to go, be very careful. Okay, so industry always needs to be in a place where it can move. That's number one. We have, we have secured that. Number two is mm, apply new thinking, innovation. So that's the glass piece where we say, are we really focusing on the right problem? And how do we do that, right? Number three is a simple management mantra that I have, right? So we look into things that we do. If they work very well, we do more of them. We just scale them up, right? Multiply it. And if they don't go as well as expected and we are really disappointed, we do things differently. Okay, so that's it. And very fast. So we run in three months sprint. Every three months there's a checkpoint. Like it, don't like it, different. And that's how we move forward very fast. So number four, and this is my favorite one, and actually it's a quote from Jeff Bezos. And he says, a only a so marketing is the price you pay for a mediocre product. So we need to make sure that whatever we develop, be it a concept, a new idea, something we push out there, it needs to fly on its own. If we need to start preaching and convincing, something is wrong with the product as such. So that's the basic rule that we have. Last but not least, I would like to ask you about the future. How do you think things will be regarding data and technology? Future. Data will be the driving force for the future. So my collision of actual product data that's running inside the end-to-end -end value chain, we be looking into data. Our society, our businesses, our economies, they will use data to learn, they will use data to improve, they will use data to make things better and drive positive change. It will cross cut through all pillars at the Consumer Goods Forum, be it food safety, product safety, sustainability, health and wellness. And we are going to support all these areas with what we do. We use new technologies like true code, like data ports, uh, label lists that we discussed. And we will also look into how we can define together the next steps with our stakeholders, manufacturers, retailers, and external stakeholders that help us to get where we want to go. Well, thank you, Rudy, for answering our questions. I hope you had a great time.